In this video, we will discuss about polygon command. How to use polygon command in AutoCAD. So, using polygon command, you will be able to draw regular polygons only. By regular polygon, I mean to say that all the sides of the polygon will be equal. So, there are two methods to draw a polygon using polygon command. The first is center method. Under center method, there are two further sub methods. One is inscribed in a circle. Second is circumscribed about a circle. And the second method is edge method. So what is center method? In center method, we suppose that our polygon is drawn with respect to a circle. Okay. So we basically specify the center of the circle and uh, the resulting polygon is drawn such that all the corners of the polygon are lying on the circumference of the circle. Right. So this is inscribed in a circle. Second is circumscribed about a circle. So in this method, the polygon is lying outside a circle such that all the edges of the polygon are tangents to the circle. Okay. So we will specify the radius of the circle and accordingly our polygon will be drawn. Right. So this is about the center method of polygon. Second is edge method. So under edge method, we are just drawing the one edge of the polygon. Right. We are drawing just one edge of the polygon and rest of the polygon it is drawn automatically. So we are not drawing rest of the polygon. So that edge can be drawn at some angle also. Accordingly, the polygon adjusts itself, right? So let us now see these uh, options in AutoCAD. Let us move to the AutoCAD. So this is AutoCAD. Polygon command can be activated from here. So click over here. So you get this option of polygon, either you select it from here or you can write polygon also in the command bar and press enter, right? So first of all, always it will ask you the number of sides. Number of sides are five. Let us suppose, now specify center of the polygon. Let us specify the center of the polygon over here. Let us say this is the center of the polygon. Then now you can see it is asking enter an option inscribed in circle or circumscribed about a circle. So I can write I for inscribed in a circle or I can click over here also. Let us write I and press enter. Now you can see a polygon, a pentagon basically is visible now right so we can specify the radius it is asking specify the radius of the circle so as already discussed uh, it asks us the radius of, of the polygon because we assume that the polygon is being drawn in a circle inside a circle such that all the corners of the polygon are lying on the circumference of the circle so let us suppose the radius of this polygon is 25 mm so press enter so you can see the polygon has been drawn okay so how you will get to know that this is inscribed in a circle so for this i'll just draw a circle also for your reference click on circle center point let us go this is the center point so if i click on center point it will ask me the radius so the radius of this polygon, which is inscribed in a circle, we had entered it to be 25. So let us take it to be 25 and press enter. So just see all the corners of the polygon are lying on the circumference of the circle. Right. So this is inscribed in a circle. Let us discuss the other option now. Let us go to polygon number of sides i'm taking it to be six now press enter so now 
center of the polygon let us suppose this is the center of the polygon right then circumscribed about a circle so i'll write c and press center now circumscribed about a circle means your polygon will be drawn outside a circle such that all the the edges of the polygon are tangent to the circle okay so radius of the circle again i am taking the same radius right 25 and press enter so this is the polygon which is circumscribed about a circle so just to see how it is circumscribed let us go to circle command again click on circle center point select the center point of the polygon this is the center point and radius again let us suppose the radius is equal to 25 so that we may get to know that it is circumscribed or not so press enter so here you can see the circle this circle and this circle the radius of these two circles is same but the polygon this this polygon let me just highlight this So this, uh, this polygon, this pentagon, which is in red color, this is inscribed in a circle and this polygon, which is in blue color, this is circumscribed about a circle. So these two are basically the polygons drawn by center method, right? Center method. So now let us proceed for the second method which is edge method. So as discussed earlier edge method means you will be drawing just one edge of the polygon and rest of the polygon it will be drawn automatically. Right. So let us go to polygon command again. Let us say this is the option now I am selecting. Let the number of edges be 3. Okay. Select edge method. Click from here. Click on edge. Now first end point of the edge. So let us suppose I am clicking randomly. Let us say this is the first end point of the edge. Now if you can see you know I am just drawing a single line of the polygon or you can say I am just drawing one edge of the polygon and rest of the polygon it is automatically being drawn. So it can be drawn at any angle in any direction you can draw this right so let us draw it by polar coordinate method let us take it to be length let it be equal to 70 at the rate 70 less than let the angle be equal to 45 degree so write 45 at the rate 70 less than 45 press enter now here if i show you i have just drawn one edge this edge only i have drawn so i'll highlight this okay i have just drawn this edge so the length of this edge was equal to 70 You see you can see it is 70 and the angle with the horizontal it was equal to 45 degree so I'll just draw a horizontal line go to angular I select these two lines so just see the angle is 45 right so this is basically if you want to draw the polygon at some angle at some desired angle if you want to draw you can use this method 
so this is the edge method in which you just draw one edge of the polygon and rest of the polygon it is drawn automatically that edge can be drawn at some angle whatever length you want to specify that can be specified for that edge right so i suppose this is clear to you thank you very much